Hello and welcome to another episode of The Clever Dev. Today we are going to look at MUI button color and we'll look at the text color, the border color, background color. You can see that I have named these buttons based on different variants and that is reflective of the variants I've assigned to them naturally. And we'll look at the DOM as well and you can see how um, the different variants get assigned different classes in the DOM. Here we see MUI button contained. And if you want to learn about this, then stick around. Here we are with a basic setup for our code. Uh, what I've got here is three buttons. They don't have any styling or variants so far. And I like to set up my videos with some basic code already created um, so that we can save a little bit of time. Now I will have a link to a post that contains all of this code in the, that link will be in the video details. So if you want to copy paste and go check that out. Um, but let's dive right into the actual code. So as I mentioned in the intro, then I'm going to put a different variant on each button and we'll see how that impacts styling and the selectors that we can use. But I'm going to go ahead and add variant of text to this first one. And let's say um, variant of contained to the second one. And then to the final one we'll add variant of outlined. So let's take a look at what we've got so far and you can see the differences in those three. And let's go ahead and inspect the DOM and see what we can see in terms of uh, the different classes applied. So we see this MUI button root on all three and um, there you can see MUI button contained on that second one, MUI button outlined on that first, MUI button on that third, MUI button text on that first. So that looks good. That gives us something to target. And in this demo, I am going to focus on the SX prop. However, you could just as easily target those classes with nested selectors in uh, in the if you're using the styled API, or um, here, of course, in the SX prop. So this first one. Um, I am just going to have the SX prop be inline, at, or you know, use it as a prop. Um, that didn't come out quite right. I will add the styling directly into the SX prop instead of using the styles object that I've created. I'll use the styles object on the other two, um, on the other two buttons in their SX prop. So with that said, let's go ahead and. Um, change the text color and add a border. So that's what I'll do for all three buttons. I'll do a little bit more on some of them, but I'll do at least that basic um, styling for all three. So if we want to change the text color, um, for this one, since we're right in the SX prop, then we can just say color. And I'm going to give it a gray color. So we could either say gray or we can use uh, this hex value, something like that. Now, if I had wanted to, and what I had initially started doing here um, was I could have done something like this dot MUI button dash text. And then I could have put this, uh, this color value that we have here, I could put it in here. And that would properly style the text. As long as we have proper syntax. So there we go. However, that's overkill since I am using the S the SX prop here, so we don't need to do that. However, on these two, I will use this styles object, and there um, I will need if I want to use that styles object for both of these buttons, then I will need to use a nested selector to apply the proper text color to each button. But we'll get to that in just a minute. So next up is the border. Let's add a border color. And I'll just keep this one pretty basic at 2px black solid. So um, the main change is, of course, that color, but also the thickness there. You can see that it's a little bit thicker now. So we'll call that one good for now move on to the next button, um, I'll add that styles prop that I mentioned, or that styles object that I mentioned on this one. So I will say SX equals, and then I should go ahead and add in the styles object. 
actually I'll do it a little bit differently than that. This will work, it'll take it a moment, but I'm not gonna add any other styling down here. If so, I don't need this object destructuring syntax, I'll just do it like that. So now let's say uh, border and I'll say 2px solid orange just to give something different. Um, let's see. I'll actually go ahead and add this SX prop to both of these. So anyway, we've got 2px solid orange there. And the next thing I want to add is I'll do a different color for each button variant. So for that first one, I will say MUI button contained. Give that a yellow color. And since I'm going to use the same styling prop, that styling object, I uh, need to use different nested selectors um, for each button variant, like I mentioned already. So let's give that outlined. And I'll give that color of, let's see, how about brown? Might not be pretty, but it'll be different. There we go. So everything looks good here. Let's go take a look. Okay, so you can see that orange border. You can see that I think it was what yellow, yeah, yellow text and brown text there. Um, so I'll call that good for this second button, but for this third button, let's say that we want a unique border color for it. And you can see how on hover the border is getting um, is changing color back to the theme primary main color. Um, that's not happening on these others because the outlined variant adds a border and adds that hover action on the border. And these two don't have borders by default. So um, I've added a border and there's no default border hover action and I've not added any border hover action. But anyway, let's fix that for this third one. So we can continue to use this styles prop, but what we can do is we can destructure it and this syntax is always hard to remember, but we can destructure it and you might want to make a note of how that looks. And then we can continue to add unique syntax in there uh, for or unique styling for this particular button. So let's say we want a different border color just to make it unique. And so this will override the orange border color. Let's confirm that. So there we go, that looks good now. Still want to fix that hover action and I'm going to come down here and fix it in here and we will say and hover. Notice that it's a colon instead of um, the dot because um, hover is a pseudo class and so that's why you need this colon. The dot is for classes. So always remember that we may be we're using JSS syntax here um, but those rules still hold true for selectors. So anyway let's say on hover, we can add whatever color we want. So let's just say um, border color. Uh, let's just say green. And so that's pretty good. You can see that it actually gets thinner. So how about instead of border color, we'll just say border and we'll reaffirm that 2px solid green. And that should do the trick. There we go. All right. So I think that's everything that was in the intro. And if this was helpful, please do consider subscribing or leaving comments. It's really motivating for me, but I hope that this was a helpful video.